So here it is, Nokia. And who are you? I'm Juan La Blanca. So do you work on the map? Yes, I'm product manager for, for Nokia here. Uh, Nokia here, only here or everywhere? Here, everywhere, wherever you want to be. <laughs> so this is, uh, before it was called what? Nokia Maps? You changed the name? Uh, it's here Maps, yeah. Since when? That's uh, That has been now more than one year. I more than one year? Yeah. So right now you're showing, for example, this is a default map on the Nokia X. And uh, we can see Nokia here is right there. So how does it how does it work there? Right. So basically we have brought here to this new platform the same capabilities that we had before in uh, Windows Phone and Windows. So has it been before uh, here on Android? The uh, is Android, Android phones can have uh, here maps or only the, the Nokia X? Uh, because this is a Nokia phone, we have preloaded our here maps. We do also have a Android SDK for enterprises or OEMs to, to you know, develop apps on, on, on top of the platform. But so the, the map, this application is not for all the other phones, it's only for the X? Or is that's, it? That's correct. Okay. So uh, can you explain a little bit how it works? Is it vector? How does it work? It's vector. A base, and that's why you can, for instance, download your map and make use of it uh, in offline mode. So that means no cost, no connectivity problems. In awesome. this case, I have downloaded Catalonia because you can't rely on the, the conference. Maybe there's no connection, and then it just works. That's it's there. Correct. The whole maybe, area. Maybe it's not my home city or my home country, so I don't have to roam for, nice. for you know connecting to the internet. Nice. So, uh, what's the performance of the map? Well, uh, this is 109 euros, but it's still very performing actually. It is not the same experience that you will find in a Windows phone or like a tablet. $600 phone that will be different. Exactly. I mean, this is this is obvious, but still, I mean, you can do many of the things that you are used to doing Windows phones. Like for instance, you can zoom in. And get very close. Let me get you maybe to the city center of Barcelona where we can see uh, more beautiful landscapes. And if I zoom in and tilt, at some point you see that we see the 3D uh, structure of the city. So you're using a. You can rotate. You're inside the Ramblast right now. Yeah. It's awesome. So you see, I mean, the performance is, is, is very good, actually. Of course, it goes, it would be going a bit faster. If, you you know, have all faster. the buildings in Barcelona? Yes. All buildings are inside? All in Spain? No, only... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah? we, of course, focus in the main cities. And... Uh, you can also change the layer. You can do the satellites. You can also show the public transport layer. Of the city. If you want to go somewhere, you just click, it will tell you which subway to take. That's where. correct. I mean, I can search for something, or I can just select it from the map. Let's say. So it depends if there's an internet connection right now, but. Uh, select navigate. And as you can see up here, I can choose if I go by my food. Yeah. I can choose if I go by public transport or if I go by car. And then I can just simply start turn by the Somebody's gonna talk? Who's talking? Some the, girl. The phone is talking, yeah. yeah. And uh, what's uh, get there faster? So you uh, you have the best the best what's it called uh, navigation, the fastest way? Yeah, There's I mean no what we want to demonstrate here with this video is that we have traffic based uh, information we basically collected from many yeah. we collected from many sources it can be from official sources it can be for from people in the cars uh, it can be from you know from uh, listening to the radio watching tv and we put all this together and what we demonstrate here is basically how the, the city of london looks like uh, at the different times of the of the day. Why you show London when Barcelona? No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. So there you have, take a look at this. Yeah, the, let's check it out. Yeah. So here you have uh, on Windows Phone. 
Okay, okay you've got here a Windows phone, which is of course again a kind of the same experience. And then if you're interested, of course, because the, the phone is a bit more powerful, this is it's smoother. Something I didn't show you before, but you also have it in the Nokia X, it's your favorite. This is a collection of more favorite places I have been say, saving. Now you see and those are synchronized, are in the cloud. So I can make use of that. Doesn't matter the device I use. It can be a Windows phone, it can, can be a Nokia X, it can be the tablet. Let's try to steal the tablet for a can second. You use the tablet? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want All right, to see the tablet. How I can get to. So this is a big, uh, expensive this, tablet, no? This is a su reality, so Surface so Pro. Pro. Surface Pro? Yeah. It's and like 700 something yeah. or yeah, 800 euros. I don't know what, how much it costs, but basically so what we want to show here is that any Windows so you get a 8 tablet. See. Can can use from you. now uh, our, down, our new application, the here map, which is very. Let me show you a couple of very impressive you, uh, things here. Yeah. Again, Find you can go very close to the city, still, and then you will see the 3D model, you will see the landmarks, super smooth. Uh, it's a very nice it's natural way of exploring the city. Yeah. And we also have a venue oh, map. So I can also like have a street level. Go inside. But you have a street level. Yeah, I was in air mode. That's why this doesn't load. But you have street view. Yeah. 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 Let me go back to the to the connectivity. So you have Nokia cars going around taking pictures of every street, or no? Yeah. Find the bathrooms, the ATM. And all this information. So, so this is kind of full, full stretch. Maybe it depends on the connection. No yeah. Kind of this is this is something you cannot do offline. You can do many things offline, but this is not so offline. So we have a, so, yeah, you a website where it's also online. So you can go to here.com. We saw you. Sorry. What it looks like in reality. So here. Oh, okay. Right. You know, yeah. I can okay. also here. look down you can get and see where I'm looking at. So this is a very nice way of look. You know, kind of reorient. This is new, or you've had this for? We have that already in Windows Phone. Uh, so so yeah, we call it life side, it's augmented reality feature, so we have and now it's available also in, in, uh, and then in have, the in the US, we have a big office also So, in how many cities in the world so did you go and Chicago's take pictures of? Is uh, this is a question I cannot answer at the moment, but uh, right. uh, let's say the main cities. So, uh, there is a GPU in the, even in the Nokia X, no? It, but this is the first time you release the Android version, right? That's right, yeah. So, it, could it be more optimization and GPU, something you can do, or speed it up, or...? Yeah, surely. I mean, we have launched three devices, Nokia X, which is the most affordable one, Nokia X Plus, which has a bit more RAM and, and memory, and the one I was showing you, the green one, uh, is the Nokia XL, which is the larger one and it's a bit more performing. So, what would you say when people ask, how does it compare with Google Maps? I mean, uh, the, the main strength we have comparing with Google Maps is the offline capabilities, right? As I, ha I have told you and showed you, uh, you can very easily download the map and you can pretty much use everything you need, all your use cases, in offline mode. That means you don't have to connect, you don't need to pay extra money, right, if you are especially roaming. So that's our main uh, strength. And there's also some a uh, few other demos you have here. Yep. Uh, you're showing. Uh, We've got here uh, I've been about a car. Yeah, station. because I mean we we don't just uh, stop. At, yeah. We 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 just don't stop at mobile phones or or tablets. We go also into the car, right? And we actually are in four out of five embedded systems, navigation systems in the car, are powered by here. Four out of five? F four out of five, yes, that's correct. If you have a car, a navigation system embedded, uh, four out of five are powered by here, our platform. And what we're going to show here is... Yeah, yeah. so I, I'm going to let my colleague Thanks. make you the presentation. So what we have here is we have... Uh, we, sh we show a, a cross-screen experience. So this is actually embedded into a vehicle. So this is not a tablet or anything like this. is actually embedded into, into a vehicle. So we work with car companies, tier one suppliers, uh, and, and so on, uh, for the solution. So imagine now I'm at home, I'm actually gonna go to a restaurant uh, later later tonight. So I'm using an iPad uh, with uh, with Here Maps. So I'm at home, I'm gonna go to this place called Nectari Restaurant later tonight, find the place I'm um, using Here Maps. Gives me lots of um, nice rich, um, rich details, such as um, photos and so on, also reviews from different providers including Michelin, 
and um, also TripAdvisor. So what I want to do, I want to hit manage and actually collect that to my favorites. So that's automatic stored in the cloud to my personal profile. So when I get into the car, you have a number of these, um, these, these tiles uh, here. So here is representing more of the personalization. So I like tapas, so wherever I am, always shows me where, where the nearest tapas is. If my wife gets in the car, maybe she likes something else. So what we're trying to do here is trying to make it more personal experience as possible. Second one's related to our, our dynamic uh, services. So here you've got the, the gas stations, but also by prices. So naturally I can sort by the cheapest, closest, or optimized on, on here. So if I go now into my favorites, the start of the car, it's automatically synchronized um, the Natalia restaurant. I tap onto that. First thing you notice, we also have this um, 360 uh, street level imagery uh, of the actual place. So great for a consumer, you can see what the place actually looks like even before you've got there. I set destination, then gives me um, guidance straight to, straight to the restaurant. So you can see on the, on the map here, we've got lots and lots of rich, um, rich content. I can switch between 2D, 3D, and even satellite uh, mode as well. Looks really great. And so when you're saying four out of five cars, what does that mean? So basically, so we traditionally been working with the car car company. So. When we were talking about that, we were talking about meaning the content, um, content of, of, the, of the actual map, so the base map um, data. So what, that's the traditional sort of business that we've been doing. Now what we're looking at is actually building on top of that and actually building the whole automotive experience, including routing, searching, traffic information and so on. Uh, all on that. No, not, and actually offering this to a, a car OEM, yeah, including also the, these multiple screen experiences as well. Are you thinking about integrating with the uh, automa autonomous driving functionalities like uh, safety and stuff like that? So, so we, we, um, we announced, um, I think, uh, a few, few months ago, some um, partnerships with uh, a number of different OEMs. I think the latest one was um, with Mercedes, um, and which is relating to our highly automated um, driving, HAD. Um, so we have a number of different collaborations at, at the moment uh, relating to, to that as well. And uh, when somebody talks about sync, for example, like, is it your... Like Ford Sync? Or yeah, you mean? Uh, Sync. For example, yeah. Ford Sync. For, so Ford Are Sync, they using your technology? So, so just one example yeah. I'm thinking about. So Ford Sync, for example, is actually a proprietary solution that which is uh, connecting, say, for example, a, a smartphone together with, uh, yeah, with, with a system in the, in the car. So what we are concentrating on is actually the embedded system on there. So Sync is a proprietary uh, solution. They're not using to, some of your technology. Um, they're probably using. Yeah. Depends on the on, on each car. They could be using our, our maps. Could be using our dynamic services. So it very it varies from different OEMs. Uh, as well. And uh, in the car space, a lot of activity. Uh, what's going to happen? Connecting the car to the internet. Mm -hmm. Big deal. Yeah. So th this is this is why that, you know, there's a lot of these services that we have today. So things like the traffic information, all these dynamic content, you need to be connected. Um, we, and we see a, a huge trend in, in uh, cars being connected. And also, you know, we are able to bring in, in and lots and lots of different value as well. Cool. So uh, if I can ask you, uh, well, he was showing you were showing, for example, the cheapest, best, and all that. How do you how do you figure that out? What is uh, best on the map? Like all the best. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so basically, so with the, the few prices that you saw t t today, so we what we do is we we actually aggregate and work with different partners um, to actually source this information. So we will then um, aggregate all this information um, together. So what you saw was like uh, the, the cheapest. So that's where that's naturally the cheapest price. The closest, based on your location, optimized meaning it's a combination of both on there. So we aggregate all this information. So it's not only parking. Uh, so it's not only fuel prices, but also things like parking, uh, parking availability. So we work with like. Uh, suppliers on um, this type of content. Uh, it could be EV charging stations, uh, for, for example, as well, including availability and so on. So we can provide all these cloud services and actually make them available directly to the OEM. So you see it integrated into here also, but actually you can also, a, a car OEM can also um, have these services separately as well. So it's a huge deal, as we've seen from Apple, uh, and the mistake kind of they made one at one point, is that it's really hard to do maps, right? Right, and then we've been doing maps for you know, many, many years. I think like 25 years of. 25 uh, years. Uh, 25 years of. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. uh, Nokia here now acquired like Navtech like probably like 10 years ago, and there are not so many players out there making maps, right? But because as, as you said, it takes a lot of energy and investment and 
you. So we, we, it's not only data. It's like how you use it, right? Exactly. Is that the yeah. main thing you do? It, so, we, so we we obviously build. We obviously drive the streets and actually collect the, the data and actually build the maps. And this is what we we're really now branching into, especially in the automotive space, which is actually building these type of experiences. So some of the things that we've done is like finding parking nearby. So what we do is, uh, as we're driving, you know, as you're driving along, as you approach the destination, we don't want to, a consumer doesn't want to open up a separate app to look for uh, a parking place. They want to have the experience automatically integrated. What we've done is, is that when you approach the actual um, destination, we will automatically trigger off, you know, looking for uh, a particular, you know, parking space. So within two clicks, you can actually navigate straight to the, to the actual parking area. So how big is here? I mean, how many people work in here? Is that secret? It's not a secret. I'm just. Trying, I don't actually. Like, because you need to be everywhere in the world and more go than, around. More, more than thousand employees. Oh, I think it's more than. Way more. Than. You know the stats on six thousand. Six, six thousand. People. Six thousand. <laughs> oh, so that means there's more and more cars going around doing the pictures. Yes. We, we, yeah. In every city. We're, we're almost everywhere. We have more than uh, how many countries? Uh, I mean, in maps we have we we have available in almost two hundred countries. And, uh, and you, you, you gather the information from people's phones also to improve the map? Uh, for like private data information and so on. So there's, there's a demo that my colleague can actually show you. Yeah. Let's uh, go there. Making sense of the data. Let's go there. Yeah. Let's see if there. Thanks. I think my colleague is now busy, but is I, I can basically tell busy? you yeah. just uh, uh, a bit of what's, what's gonna, what, what is this about. What we are visualizing here is basically a uh, pros. From, from our users that have been passing certain billboards. You know, the billboards where you okay. saw advertisement, yeah. the GCD call, for instance. So we understand, I mean, we know how our users are moving around the city, right? So we could eventually provide, provide our partners this very useful information, telling them, look, at three, six, nine o'clock in the morning, noon, this is how people are moving along your billboard in this city, right? So 301,000? That's right. All week, or that's per day, no? That's, I don't okay. know, that's time slots, that probably okay. uh, of everything together. Wow. But as I said, I, I'm not yeah. an expert on this demonstration. But basically the point making But you here, use this kind of stuff to improve your maps also? Sure, yeah. So it's... But, the, but that's the, this that's demonstration is about how we could uh, empower our partners also to do better business, right? In this way, let's say GCD Call, whatever big board uh, company, can tailor yeah. what they saw on the on the advertisement, depending on what type of users are passing by and when. Can, can we just... Uh, over here? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, one thing I'm wondering is the speed of uh, uh, finding out where you are. You need... Do you accelerate this with Wi-Fi also? The speed of finding where you are, yeah, so, yeah. So you use so Wi-Fi also? Of course, also. we use like uh, all the location methods that the phone supports. It depends on the phone, but basically the, the ones we usually use are GPS, Wi-Fi, cell ID, and that's pretty much everything. Cool.